Thanks once again for dropping by the channel. If you like the content, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe, share the video if you enjoyed it, if you felt it was useful. Now let's get into this. So, quick post fight toss to Philip Hergovic's latest fight. This happened today. This happened only in the last hour. Guy's name is Alexander. So I cannot pronounce the guy's last name. All right? I cannot pronounce it at all. Um, but he was not particularly good. He was stopped with one punch in the second round. Philip Hergovic... Philip Hergovic is an interesting character. You know, he really is. I haven't seen him since he fought Molina, which was on the AJ uh, Ruiz undercard. Again, like, when, when he fought Molina, that was a real... That was probably the biggest name on his resume, really. Molina's not that good. This fight here, originally he was... I forget the guy he was meant to fight. I know the guy who fought David Price. He's been out of the ring for six years. Cannot... Because I don't have my phone with me or my, my iPad with me or anything like that, so I can't look them up. But I know the guy... Oh, I can't remember the guy's name. I think he's a German heavyweight, the original opponent. He fought David Price. He dropped David Price. But he hasn't fought since he lost to David Price. And that was six years ago. He was the original opponent. So they binned him for whatever reason. And they brought this guy in. Now, this guy, uh, he's not very good. Was stopped in eight rounds by Ricardo Schneider. That is a guy, Daniel Dubois, absolutely just didn't need to even go out of first gear to beat uh, a couple of weeks back in the cruiserweight. So going in there against Hergovic, this guy was always going to be out of his depth. And that's exactly what happened. He was. Hergovic looked a little bit a little bit rusty. You know, I, I thought that. You know, even though he was the, the superior fighter in there and he was always going to win. He just looked a little bit, you know, just a little bit flat. In the first round anyway. Just from what I could see, he just seemed a bit, just a little bit flat. Needed to get warmed up. Uh, once he warmed up, the fight was over pretty quick. He hit him with a right hand and damn, the opponent was all kinds of messed up. Filip Hergovic, very powerful heavyweight. You know, very powerful. People liken him to Vitaly Klitschko. You know, younger Vitaly Klitschko. I can see some similarities there, definitely. You know, the height, the punch and power. Hergovic is a very, very impressive heavyweight. And he's a very impressive prospect. You know, him, Tony Yoka, Daniel Dubois. You know, all good heavyweights. Joe Joyce, all good heavyweights. The thing about Filip Hergovic is, he had an extensive amateur background. Okay, but we're still seeing him fight guys like this. We're still seeing him fight the Eric Molinas of the world. We're still seeing him fight, was it the Gregory Corbin, the guy he fought before that? So he's not been fighting a who's who of the heavyweight division. It's been really a who's he. You know, when Eric Molina is probably your best win, it's not a very good sign. So I would like to see them move Hergovic quicker. They have been talking, or Eddie Hearn at least, you know, has been hinting at maybe him and Alan Babich. I think he's going to want to keep those two apart. Now, obviously, I don't know if Eddie Hearn was involved in the show. I don't think it was. But I'd say he's going to want to try and bring Babic in one direction, Hergovic in another. Hergovic is definitely... Um, Babic ain't raw. That's the wrong way of describing it. But they're like chalk and cheese in terms of their style. Like, one's six foot seven, I think, Hergovic is. And Babic is, what, six foot one? One is kind of, you know, upright, you know, typical European style, you know, upright, throws hard shots. The other guy just comes in and throws everything but the kitchen sink at you. Well, literally, they're very, very different fighters, the chalk and cheese. But Eddie, do I think I don't think they'll match them together anytime soon. Anyway, not unless one is a world title or something like that. In terms of who I'd like to see Hergovic in there with next, you know, they've named people like Dave Allen, stuff like that. Um, if they really want, I might get someone might say this is maybe a bad idea, but if they really are high on Hergovic and they really want to get a name and get a test in there. Seriously, Huey Fury. Let's see what he can do with that. Now, I, I think that'd be an interesting fight. Huey Fury for Philip Hergovich. That's what I would say next. If That's me now, not with my manager's hat on. That's me with my fan's hat on. So, I could be wrong with that. You know, maybe some other people might disagree or agree or whatever. Let me know your thoughts in any way in the comment section. I'm going to call it quits here. There's boxing on TV right now that I am trying to catch up on. As you can, well, you can't see it, but Charlie Edwards is fighting. You know, the Edwards brothers. You know, it's just, yeah. Yeah, we all know. If Dale's watching this video, you know, he, he knows what I'm thinking. He knows what I'm thinking. Shout out to Blue Collar Sport TV, by the way. Anyway, thanks once again for dropping by the channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe, of course, if you are new. As always, people, I'll talk to you. Peace.